twins that were born on uh, March 2nd are going to be moved over to the family pen. You can see they've all been marked. So this group here is Mama is number 10. Twins are number 10. And they're actually in pen number 10. And they were born on the 2nd. So they've been here for two days. And we're going to move them over to the family pen this way the babies have more room to run around and it's easier it's less it's it's better for them they've had enough time to bond Each of the lambs have been tagged with the RFID tracking tag. We iodine the day they're born. It's minus 26 this morning. So these little beauties are keeping warm. Babies that were born on the second are gonna be released. Lock on the side of the barn. We open up the doorway to the each of the lambing pen and we let them travel across up to the top and then along the concrete alley into the feeding, into the family pen. This opens up a bunch more lambing pens. The family in pen number 10 here. I'll have to check on them again because one of them was pretty chilled this morning. We had to put him in, it in the uh, warming box. We were worried. I'll have to get her up. This is the family pen for the moment. It's about to change either later today or first thing tomorrow. We'll have to make it bigger. Serious <laughs> lamb cuteness. Brian just arrived with the corn. We had to haul some down to the sheep barns. So today was the day and barn one is about to begin its late gestation feed plan. Just as I'm finishing up chores, guess what begins? Looks like this year mama's ready to lamb. Just as I'm finishing up. I'll have to keep an eye on her now. We may have to help this one out. So this one's been taking too long to lamb. Looks like it's a large enough lamb in there. It's coming out the right way, but Brian's preparing to go in. So my first delivery of 2022 lambing season. And uh, she says, I don't think so. I can see. Lamb is presenting with a head and two feet. Oh, 
probably what I'll have to do is just pull the feet out so that there's enough room for the head, the rest of the body. The feet are, the feet are even with her nose right now. And by pulling them out a little bit longer, then the whole body will squeeze, will slide out. So just gently, I'll gently work the feet. Try to get one leg. <laughs> <laughs> through. Try to get one leg through there. first, and then that gives you more room. Is There's that more deal? room for the shoulders. Okay. <laughs> and the second leg. <laughs> and the head comes. Shoulders. It's a big one. Thank goodness. Good job, Brian. So, one, and uh, give her a second, and then I'll check to see if there's any more. And we check because. We... And just to make sure, because if the first one takes a little bit longer, we want to make sure that there's not another one. So if there's another one, it's coming the right way, too. Look at that guy. Color a big ram. Big ram ram. Tag U number 117. Just had one ram so far. We're going to check the U117 and identify if she has any more lambs inside of her. Because I watched a video on the, the sheep game and watched Cami show that if you pull a lamb from a U, that you impact the natural rhythm of the um, of the birthing, and therefore it's important to go in. So Brian, in a minute, will go in with his glove on and feel around to see if there's any more babies inside. So I'm gonna check. You see. And if I ever found myself here by myself having to do this, what is it that I would need to know? Well, you're just you're checking in her uterus to see if you feel another lamb or not. And I would know that because it, there would be hard, like bone, rather than just Yeah, you'd feel nothing. the feet. I'm not feeling any. Really... Okay. Not feeling anything? No. So, I think she just had a big single. She had one large single ram. All right. We prefer to have twins, but it's a nice size ram. We'll take it. Yeah.